Hi, welcome back. You're watching Michelle with Michelle's Life, and today's video is a review video. I haven't done a review video in quite some time, so please excuse me if it seems like I'm all over the place in this review because that's probably gonna happen. I have some notes, but <laughs> we'll see how this turns out. So as you saw when you clicked on this video, this is a book review for the book Behold the Dreamers. This book came out in August of 2016, and the author is Imbolo Membue. I'm pretty sure. I looked up how to pronounce it, and I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. I was fortunate enough to be able to borrow this book via NetGalley. The cover is absolutely what sold me on this book, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then I saw a review from Joss over at Scribbles Reads, and her reviews are always phenomenal. So, so if you've watched half of this review and you're like, man, I want to watch a better review, I'll link hers down below for you to go check out. My friend Michelle over at her channel, Mishmash, um, read the first chapter and kind of like went over her thoughts in her try chapter tag and I saw from her excitement that I wanted to pick it up right away. So I picked it up right away <laughs> and I'm here to review it for you guys. So this book takes place mostly in New York City with flashbacks to Cameroon, Africa. Our main protagonist, uh, Jen De Jongo, moved from Cameroon to New York City in 2000. I think it was 2006, but the present date is 2008 and the um, elections are kind of going on at this time. Uh, Obama has not yet been elected. Jende has had the ability to bring his wife and son over from Africa and they're now living with him, but it took him two years to be able to save up the money and to do so. Um, he is still going through the immigration process and dealing with trying to get his papers to become a citizen. Jende lands a job as a chauffeur for a Wall Street accountant and he starts making $35,000 a year and his family finally feels a little bit more at ease with their situation, though immigration is still giving them an uphill battle. The book shows you the comparisons between lifestyles, it shows you what his life was like back in Limbang in uh, Cameroon, Africa and it shows you his life in Harlem, New York. Um, it shows you also through the perspective of his wife, Nene, who I was not a big fan of. Um, the one thing that Moembe does really well in this book is she shows all of these characters from two completely different social classes and shows you how utterly flawed we are as human beings, no matter how much money we make, or what kind of papers or citizenship we hold, we are all flawed. I loved all the different perspectives. The um, rich entitled son who sees flaws within the American culture and with his father and his corrupt business and wants to leave America. We see Clark Edwards who is uh, Jende's boss, uh, the accountant, and we see his perspective of working hard and um, to earn what he believes is, you know, financial wealth in America, and that's all he's ever wanted for his family. And then we see Hujende and Nene and their struggle to, you know, make ends meet, but also their joy of being in America and away from their country and at the prospects of, um, you know, raising a family in America that they will be given more choices and it's it's really it's really interesting and I like seeing the juxtaposition between the two classes and I thought that Moebe did a really great job at just putting it all out on the table in a pretty unbiased way. I thought she did a, I thought she did a phenomenal job at doing that. Um, I really loved all the different cultural influences that were throughout this book. I loved all of the food and um, different um, comparisons, like um, when Nene and Jango go to a bar, they talk about the difference between a bar in New York City compared to a drinking spot in Cameroon, and um, just the differences there. I, I loved the different reflections on, you know, positive things that Cameroon offered as well as the positive things that America offered and it did at times almost feel like a Venn diagram was going on but at the same time it was very equal, you know, almost like there is no perfect place to live. There are flaws no matter where you go or what you try to do or what you try to accomplish, there's always going to be 
a struggle and I really appreciated that about this novel. I haven't read many accounts from an immigrant's perspective other than Americana, which I still need to finish. I thought that this novel was very thought-provoking and I definitely want to pick up more immigrant uh, fiction and non-fiction as well just to learn more about the topic. I found that I'm very ignorant on the subject and I definitely want to learn more. As for writing style in this book, fantastic. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. Um, I picked up this book kind of on a whim. Uh, I, like I said, I saw it on other people's channels and it sounded good. But I picked it up one night just in between reads and was completely absorbed in it right away. The writing is just so fluid and digestible and you're just there living in that one bedroom apartment with Jende and his wife and their son or you're sitting in his car next to Jende while he's listening in on conversations as he drives this accountant around town. It, the writing was really, really good. I will definitely be picking up more of Mbolo's works in the future. The characters were all very believable in my opinion. Um, they did make very humanistic but at the same time silly mistakes um, and their mistakes definitely led to a lot of tension and I am not very good with handling uh, extreme tension. Like, <laughs> that's one of the main reasons why I avoid horror books and stuff is I just don't like stupid mistakes that people make that lead to like really tensive situations. There's that. Uh, there were several mistakes made in this book, but they're very realistic like human mistakes that occur all the time. I also felt that the pacing in this book was really really good. Um, I definitely kept turning pages and I read it on my Kindle so I was just like 15% after 15% after 15% went by like in a matter of minutes. And this is a 400 page book so that that's pretty good for me. So the characters are great, the plot is great, the writing is great, um, it was it was all really good. I highly recommend this novel. If you thought about ch checking it out, I would. It, it was really eye-opening and really interesting and I felt that, though I haven't finished Americana, um, and that's the only book I can really, you know, compare this to, um, I felt that it was more seamless it flowed more whereas Chimamanda's book is a little bit more um it feels I've seen reviews where people say it feels more like essays um woven together this is a lot more seamless it, this just flowed really well as a you know actual fictional story and it was just really enjoyable really like I said thought-provoking I'm just gonna keep repeating myself so we're gonna end the review now but I did wind up giving this book four and a half stars I just docked it that half star because I didn't enjoy one of the characters and I don't want to say who because I'm afraid that will like somehow spoil your enjoyment of the book but I highly recommend you picking it up. I know some people have said that they plan to pick it up so if you do and you want to talk about it come talk to me. I will leave links to my Twitter or Instagram however you want to come talk to me about it down below or in the comments. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing and definitely let me know if you pick it up. Also let me know down below if you've read any other stories like this or that sound like this that you would recommend. Let me know down there. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.